got the uncapping tank running. motor runs but this is a small batch we're doing 100 frames a day and i didn't feel like cleaning all this up so i'm just uncapping by hand i got a roller and a capping scratcher i make sure work of it with that stuff at real quick today it's just a there's no bee removal today but this is just a super unusual and unique house that I would love to own I don't know why this kind of house appeals to me but and I don't even know what kind of style it is it's the uh, hi there I am down there I don't know if you call it a mid-century modern or what but Got little floodlights everywhere, but it's got bees somewhere left of the front door, they said. And this looks like it's gonna be a bear to figure out where they are, and then once I find them to get them out. Oh, I see. There they are right over there. Huh. All right, I might have to might have to take these from the inside. If I get them from the outside, I got to take down this big long riveted gutter. I'd have to drill the rivets out. Take the gutter down. Take the fascia down. Obviously, nowhere around, no way around the block. I have the code though for the house. So I'm fixing to go inside and look and see what it looks like. She's in need of work, but man, what a freaking crazy unique house. 
It's on the market if anybody's interested. Got a, a raging termite infection. <laughs> Yeah, it's got problems, but man, if this thing was put back together right, it would be awesome. This is a dining room. Yeah, dining room. There's the kitchen. Stone patio out back. It's in a uh, nice neighborhood, right on a golf course, but this, this particular property is super secluded. You can't see the house from the street except for down the driveway and then you can just barely see it. Needs a roof on it, I can tell you that. It's a flat roof. I don't know if it's a rubber roof or rock. Can't tell what the problem is here. Water damage. I didn't see any stains. I thought maybe somebody had a tree limb had gone through the roof or something, but it's soft, wet. All these big built-ins are pretty nice. It really probably wouldn't take a lot to put this thing back together. The roof would be the worst part. Big louvered wood shutters. Yeah, this would be a cool house, but he took me some money to rebuild it. Best part, although it's carpeted, the floor and throughout the whole place is trashed. It probably became a rental at some point. Or uh, an old person stayed in it until they passed and they just couldn't clean, didn't clean, whatever. But it's dirty. Big central fireplace. And light all the way around. So these things sometimes can be a little, tr little uh, tough to figure out, but uh, they're definitely going in that soffit. And because there's a hole in that bedroom ceiling and no bees are getting in, I'm making an assumption. By my calculations, they're going in over here, about 24 inches. There we go. I'm hitting comb right there. I can feel it. I know what it feels. <laughs> I know what a beehive feels like on the end of a screwdriver. That's honey right there. I got a couple of items that I have to pick up. I got my Gorilla tape, my favorite tape. One of my two favorites. And I keep mis misplacing, losing my razor knives so to whoever keeps finding my tools you're welcome here goes another new one let me welcome you back to the 628 dirt rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life and also want to tell you i have special plans for this particular hive and this particular location where you might be able to get some honey if you're interested <laughs> Water's on. Nice. So I got two out, two hours of daylight left, and uh, which doesn't really matter because this bedroom faces east, and even if the sun was up, I wouldn't be catching a lot of natural light. There's no windows to the south, 
there's one very dark tinted window facing east. And, uh, ooh, look at the claw marks. Spooky. Uh, claw marks. <laughs> Somebody was trying to get out. Probably the dog that peed all in the carpet here. I might not get it all done tonight because I am running out of gas quickly. Also, I need to mention that this uh, rescue is being done with the assistance of the Everything BVAC, with the benefit of the Everything BVAC. Those are available at allmybees.com, and if you mention you heard it at 628 Dirt Rooster Channel, I'll get a small sales commission and you'll get extra parts. So this is not a paid endorsement, but I do get a small sales commission if you buy one. There's critters falling out of the ceiling. <laughs> this was falling out of the ceiling on me. That's a give me chills. We're not saving that sheet rock. <laughs> wow, there's... Yeah, man, just fell open for me. Uh, sheet rock. Wasn't no saving that. Tell you what, though. It's this year's move in. I see some cap honey in there. Not gonna be a lot of it because it's not a huge hive. Well, I, I tell you what now, it may be bigger than I think because that soffit is out there a little ways. So I better uh, save my comments about the size of it. But I do see honey. This is gonna end up being a red light removal. And I know how hard it is for y'all to see that on video. So shut you down and I'll, I'll uh, keep you updated with the snapshots. about halfway done I'm knocking off come back in the morning coming in all puffy eyed bed head for the start of day two I don't need to look pretty nobody's gonna see me except for <laughs> I did that to him <laughs> <laughs> yeah I got stung right here last night it's 8.30 a.m. we're stopping at McDonald's for some breakfast and I'm gonna get back on it short last night it was getting late they were wearing on me I was tired so we're getting started again this morning probably gonna take another hour and a half I would think to finish up I like these bamboo clusters I think they're neat when I left last night I left the ceiling open but this house has pocket doors, sealing the floor, really tight fit. Wasn't any chance bees getting in the rest of the house. I had a bedroom and bathroom door closed. And uh, this is what I'm finding here this morning. Of course they're coming out of the hive at the entrance and at the uh, back of it where I opened it, it's clustering on the window. Only light in here, so they go to it. I smell it, I smell the hive, it smells really good, it smells healthy, but I also smell pissed bees. 
Start the morning with a little bit of cleanup, vacuum bees out of the windows, and putting some fresh plastic on the floor. Let's take a quick look before we get started on the day two. This this could have, should have been done in one day, but I was just tired. <laughs> and and cataloging all this and separating everything and video and it doubles the time at least. So not a uh, old colony, just moved in this year. And some pretty new combs. This is what I damaged last night and they've cleaned up the ends of it. You can see right here, that would have been wet with honey. They've dried all that out, cleaned that up. They're going back to work. And it looks like, I can't tell if I'm completely through the brood. I don't think I am. There's a lot of brood with a with a honey ring around this. There's not gonna be a lot of honey in this one. Most of the honey is just the uh, ring around the brood. So really small supply of honey in this one. Is this 17 or 18? 17. 17. Anyway, so far every comb has had brood on it. Not a real strong brood pattern. But the only comb that hasn't had brood was number, I think that was number four back here. Had nothing but honey. Everything else has had brood and honey. Not a lot of honey, but enough to, for you to get a little taste of. Capped super thick. It's like they ran into a sale on wax somewhere because they're using all the wax they can use to cap these things. Home number 20 had the most honey in it by far. This is right at the entrance. This is right near the entrance, right at the entrance. It's got brood in it as well. Got emerging workers coming to join the honey gathering forces. We're done. We're cutting this one, close the sailing up, and we'll be out of here. most elusive honeybee the queen crawling around in the carpet they always run hide <laughs> Ooh, caught her in the air I caught her midair <laughs> all right I got a I got a queen clipper in here somewhere I don't know where it's at there yeah hives out we uh, have 20 separate containers of comb. Now I just gotta close the ceiling, seal everything off, put my queen here, put my queen here in a clip, and we are out. <laughs> Nobody's been here nobody's been fooling with the property but what I'm gonna do because nobody's been here and because when they started cleaning the property up to get it ready to sell they discovered this colony and immediately contacted me to come remove them so what I want to do because I know it hasn't been sprayed and I know nobody's full with it I want to extract honey out of it and I'm gonna extract it in a special way so that each individual comb section is bottled 
separately so that it's not a blend of months and months of, of forage. Uh, totally wild bees, totally wild forage honey. And so at the end of this, I'll show you how you can get some if you want it. I can't be the honey supplier for the world, so it's going to be in small quantities. And, uh, well, you know, if you want it, go check it out and, and uh, get you some.